Hello, my soccer universe. I never thought I would be wearing an Italy shirt for the Women's World Cup uh, at any point. Um, I know Italy is a regular, but I never thought that Italy is a contender. Well, they had a big surprise today in store for us. Australia against Italy, which was a game that I really, really wanted to watch and no one, absolutely no one that is showing the Women's World Cup here in Austria or Germany was showing that match, which actually angered me a little bit, but you know, that's why I wrote the Uruguay short post and you have that one. Um, so the game Italy actually had from the beginning a chance on goal when I watched the highlights where they were clear on it was not given for offside then uh, a penalty given in the 22nd or 21st uh, penalty was taken by Samantha Kerr the big Australian star in the 22nd which was saved but on the rebound she makes it 1-0 second half at least if you watch the highlights, it's all Italy. Uh, first, Barbara Bonanzea uh, equalizes in the 56. Then you thought that um, Girelli has it made 2-1 for Italy, but the goal again is rightly taken off for offside. And in stoppage time, again, Bonanzea makes it 2-1 to Italy. Uh, a big result. And this is the first slight upset at this uh, World Cup. And again, Europeans winning. So far, whenever it was Europe against anyone, you had the Europeans winning. Well, the second match, there was for sure not a European winning. And this actually saw uh, quite a little bit of it. Uh, I saw one uh, interesting scene. Uh, I didn't see any of the goals live. Um, it was Brazil against Jamaica. A wonderful jersey matchup. Maybe not easy to tell the teams apart with Brazil playing in their regular jerseys. Uh, that we know and then Jamaica playing with the dark, uh, the black and then with um, green and yellow, with yellow pants. Quite colorful. Absolutely, I absolutely love the matchup but uh, I know maybe some people didn't do it as much. It was the Christiane show. Christiane, uh, wonderful header, made it 1-0. Then actually uh, Brazil got a penalty. Um, that was saved, but in the weirdest way, it was a very weakly shot penalty. And the Jamaican goalkeeper, Schneider, who had already a uh, big save uh, early on in the game, uh, she speculated to goals, go to right and could save it quite easily. Uh, in the second half, twice goal on Tic Tac technology confirmed that Christiane had scored. Uh, first time, she, it was a tap in that was cleared behind the line. And second one, a nice free kick to make it 3 0. So Brazil is the first non-European team to win and so far the only one because the other game where I actually saw most of the first half um, thanks to because we wanted to watch the ceremony of the French Open I uh, watched the first half then I decided I'll put the kids to bed because I wanted to watch the Nations League final later otherwise I really would have watched this game probably the whole time. England Scotland was basically the marquee match of today. We have with England uh, another big favorite entering the tournament. Probably of the three favorites, Australia, Brazil, and Eng England. England is the top is the one of the biggest favorites. Um, everyone's talking about the, at least semi final for them. Uh, Nikita Paris made it one nil from the penalty spot, and that was a nicely taken penalty. Take note, um, uh, Brazil. And England, from what I could see, were the better team and controlled more um, going forward. And when it was when Ellen White made it 2-0 uh, just before the half, it was the build-up was a little bit a random sequence that she then could, just could slam home 2-0. And you thought this is gonna get ugly. They had chances to make it maybe three, but in the end, Claire Emsley in the 79th pulls one back for Scotland. And yeah, it got a little bit tight at the end, but you know, England hangs on, gets another uh, victory, which is kind of workmanlike, but hey. So that's it for the Women's World Cup today. I actually hope that tomorrow, well, maybe the latest on Tuesday, I'm gonna get some, uh, some chances. I mean, the one game that I've already bookmarked for the second round is Germany against Spain. I think that should be one that will be fun to watch. Let me know what you watched. I have tried to link, and I hope I will not forget to link uh, the highlights up there as well. I think I should do that because uh, that you know what I'm talking about as well. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, this video. 
Um, tell me what you think about the Women's World Cup so far. I mean, was, I was really happy to see a little bit of the games today. Women's soccer is very interesting to watch. It's not the big speed and the big physicality of the men's game. It's a more uh, cleaner technical game, which is really nice to watch for, for, for a change. And I have to say there are less antics. If you want to see a clean soccer game, the Women's World Cup is your tournament. Really have to say, I always said it at the Women's Euros um, two years ago. Anyway, again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.